hell of money that's bigger than rap well, money. The first, the first way, the first way I realized. All right, so when I first started making money, that was the goal: make money. Like, okay, pump it out, pump it out, and of course, it works. If they want content, they get content. But I realized that um, the way you get money is not thinking about money. The way you get money is being on time, and that's why when I came on here right now, I apologize because I was about ten minutes late. I was supposed to be on here at least by seven fifty nine. If this shit started at eight o'clock. So it's about being on time. That's really how you get that money. That's how I ever got, that's how I ever got any opportunity or got to be next to anybody I wanted to be next to or people that I needed to be next to and I didn't even know I needed to be next to them. Being on time, being on time is key. You know, I had a beat, I had a meeting with somebody, I had a meeting with L.A. Reid yesterday and I came in at 6.01 and I was supposed to be at 6. And you felt crazy, didn't you? Am I lying, Dre, or not? No. I apologize to the man. I said, yo, I'm sorry. The same thing I did. It's so one. And that's why you, and that's why you, Joe. That's why you, you. That's why you, you. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Alex Acker. Listen, I definitely wanted to display something. Um, you just saw the video of Louis Uzi Vert, um, a GOAT, a legend in this time right now. Uh, some people might think that he's a little bit extreme. I honestly do as well. Um, the he antics that he about, does. Um, just being on time, um, it goes a long way. For me, as a professional athlete, timing is everything. Um, I have a t particular story of me just being Trying on time. out with the Chicago Bulls. Um, my very first time, being the fact that I was a California kid, I actually got to the gym a little bit early waking up. Didn't know what the time was. I thought I was literally late. I get there, I eat breakfast in the facilities, nobody's in the gym. I'm actually putting on my clothes um, and I'm getting his comes. He starts rebounding for me. Uh, the one of the assistant coach and the head coach the comes in. They see, see me shooting shots. They pull me to the side like, listen, we don't want you to get sweaty because we want you to have a good sweat. We want you to have the same advantage that everybody else does. Um, but for that being said though, we really appreciate you coming early. That speaks volumes, it really does. Me not knowing for the simple fact that they even didn't have a, a draft pick, um, it it skyrocketed my level from that standpoint on with just them seeing my presence of being there early, of being a student. I did not particularly think that I was early. I thought I was late. But that being said, though, at the end of the workout, I did phenomenal. Played a really good game just by being there early, getting all the jitters out, seeing the wildness of the arena, Chicago Bulls, the you know what I mean? The, it, the list goes on of the banners that's in that gym um, just by having Michael Jordan in that presence as well with the energy um, and just getting that out, playing good. We had a com com uh, conversation at the end and they said, listen, been in the fact that you actually stepped in that gym, came early, played the way you played. A lot of people don't know who you are. If you do not get picked in the 2005 draft, being that we don't have a draft pick, we're going to pick you. We're going to pick you up. We're going to sign you. And that literally had me overwhelmed, joyful, excited, something I wanted to tell my parents as soon as I got home, um, just knowing that my dad is from Chicago. I got family the other side of Chicago, and I was going to definitely be a Chicago Bulls. Just hearing that information from the coach and them seeing that I was actually been a leader as far as just being on time, it spoke volume. So, with that being said, though, I just want to appreciate the simple fact that being on time, prompt, is one of the most key things for anything, whether it's sports, whether it's business, whether it's, I don't know, <laughs> your funeral, if that, you know what I mean? But for that standpoint, I got to say that being on time is the most important thing more than anything because everybody can do your job. Everybody can literally play basketball at the highest level. What makes you better? What separates you from actually doing something that they can't do? And that's being on time, being pro. You know, when they put you in the game, that you're going to be able to perform at the highest level and that you're going to build that string for them, knowing that they're comfortable of putting you in and getting those accurate. minutes. I appreciate you jumping on with me, um, locking in. And I'm going to just keep hitting you with more information.